Yes, come in. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi, my name is Elam. I'm a sales rep from Nikia Meats. We recently spoke over the phone. Oh, hi. I'm Janice. Nice to meet nice you face to, meet to face. Um, please take a seat. Thank you. Did you guys recently just move into this office building? It's very nice. Uh, yeah, we moved in about six months ago. Yeah, I used to have a client downstairs actually, and their office looks very different than yours. Did you guys have any renovations done? Yeah, we did actually. Our contact, our contractors just finished um, three weeks ago, I think. Right. That's yeah. pretty recent, so congrats on the new office building. Oh, thank you. Thanks right. for noticing. So I'm actually here today to talk to you about a new product that we added to our product line. Are you familiar with Wagyu beef? Uh, we don't currently have any Wagyu beef on our menu, but I think we did before and I'm familiar with it. Right, so you know that Wagyu beef is high quality meat that's imported from Japan? Yeah. Right, so at Nikia Meats, we're a provider for much of the Wagyu beef in all of Vancouver. We currently have clients such as the Keg, Miku, and Black and Blue. Uh, we recently were able to obtain Kobe beef and added that to our kind of repertoire of different meats. And uh, we would like to op use this opportunity to offer it to you and kind of form a working relationship with the chop. Are you familiar with the differences between Kobe beef and Wagyu beef? Yeah, I've heard both those words before, but I always thought that they referred to the same thing. Right, so you actually are correct. Wagyu beef is high-end beef that comes from Japan, and Kobe beef refers to the highest quality of Wagyu beef, so it's kind of like the highest of the high. I actually have a chart here that kind of talks about the differences between Kobe beef and Wagyu beef. Huh, interesting. Thanks for bringing this. Oh right, yeah, so you can see right here actually that uh, the marbling index for Kobe beef is significantly higher than the rest of Wagyu beef. And this actually takes a much you know, more painstaking process when raising the cattle and that's kind of what we like to offer at Nikia Meats, you know, high quality. Mm -hmm. So I know that the chop has actually carried Wagyu beef in the past. Do you mind if I ask you how much you guys were being charged per ounce? I think it was $30 per ounce, but it has been a while. Right, that sounds fair. $30 is about the same price that we charge for our clients for Wagyu beef. Uh, with the higher price or higher quality of Kobe beef comes a higher price, obviously. So we actually charge about forty dollars per ounce. How does that sound to you? That price seems a bit high. I'm not sure that our budget allows us to buy meat from you at this price. Yeah, that's a very common response that we have. Forty dollars per ounce of meat is, is quite pricey. You can buy a lot with forty dollars. Do you, when you talk about this high price, do you actually mean that you feel that this high price doesn't match the kind of value that you're getting from Kobe beef? I guess you could say that. Yeah, so the reason why Kobe beef costs so much is because of the scarcity and high standards. As I said before, there's only about 3,000 cattle per year in, from Japan that qualify as Kobe beef and has to meet a very high standard. And because of this high standard, it costs this much. I can, I will, would you like to place an order for 108 pound steaks or 208 pound ounce steaks? I'm still not sure that we would benefit from buying your Kobe beef. I understand the risk that you'd be taking in going with such an expensive venture. Um, is your main concern not being able to track a customer base that would be able to kind of make up for all the money that you're spending on this Kobe beef? Yeah, I'm worried that we won't be able to sell it and that people just won't order and we'll lose a lot of money just from ordering this super expensive beef. Yeah, we've had clients in the past that feel the same way as you when we talk to them about you know the high price of Kobe beef. In fact, but actually what they found was that when they did eventually add Kobe beef to their, uh, to their menu, that they saw a significant increase to the customers that came to the restaurants. Mm. Uh, I actually have some statistics here from Black and Blue, who we sold to about two years ago. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we love working with them and, you know, they always look forward to asking us about when's the next time we get another Kobe beef shipment mm. in. Yeah, you can see right here that they saw about a 20% increase in customers in their location when they have black, uh, Kobe beef on the menu. And these customers, what they found was that not all of them were actually ordering Kobe beef, but a lot of them were just at the restaurants just so they could say that they were at a restaurant that had Kobe beef. Interesting, that's quite impressive. I'll have an order of 208 ounce steaks delivered to your location, your warehouse location next Friday. I still have one concern though. I'm not sure that the chops chefs will be able to handle and cook this kind of high quality meat. Oh, that's actually something that our company is very familiar with. Yeah, a lot of Wagyu beef is very rare and kind of hard to get and not every restaurant has it. And especially with something like Kobe beef, you want to have your chefs be able to, you know, they know how to deal with this kind of meat because they don't want to mess it up because it costs so much. We actually have some specialists and experienced chefs that we'll be able to bring in uh, that will be able to kind of educate your chefs on that part. 
if you're able to kind of gather your chefs together, we would love to send a meeting for you next Wednesday or Thursday to talk over these kind of details with you. Hmm. I think I can get them to come in on Wednesday. Yeah, that would be great. I can also actually bring in some Kobe beef for us to try as well, just so you can kind of taste it before we get on with this buying process. Oh, perfect. So should we come to your office or are you going to come yeah, to I can, office then? Uh, I'll have, I can be at your office by on Wednesday at 8 a.m. Does that sound good? Sure. Yeah, I think that'll work. I will email you to confirm that all of my chefs are able to come. Great. And if you have any questions before then, uh, just feel free to call me. You already have my number and my email. Perfect. Sounds good. Right. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for coming. Okay. Have a good day. It's fun.